of weather this Christmas Eve, bad and worse. There's some kind of bumper storm heading Ohio way tonight. Road conditions will become extremely hazardous as the evening wears on. But the best advice is to just stay home. Repeat, stay home. Any word from Mom yet? Traffic advisors have just finished. That'll be her. US 30. I wonder where she's stuck this time. And 42 are now being Hi, Mom. I'm at a gas station in Midvale. I'm having chains put on the car. I'm hungry, Mom. OK, Joey. I have a couple of more things that I have to do. Uh, so I'll be home in about an hour, OK? OK. Will you be all right for a little bit till we get home? Don't worry about a thing. Just take care of yourself and Joey, and dinner will be ready when you get home. Pam, put on your chains. Your all chains. Right. Honey, I gotta go. I gotta go find Joey something to eat. Okay? Great. Bye-bye. You didn't put these away again, Mary. I got you a great present. Don't ask what it is. It's a surprise. I bet it's a new blender. Well, then what is it? I won't tell you. You're a rat. <laughs> <laughs> For a change, you might want something fun. Oh, I think a sled's a terrific present. I love you. You're a rat. <laughs> okay, take it easy and watch TV until Mom and Joey get home, okay? Okay. Okay, there's no need to redecorate the house or anything before we all get back. Are you warm? Yes. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye, <laughs> take care. Top story here tonight in Cincinnati is the weather. And here's Gail with an update. As of 10 p.m., the giant Canadian storm continues to surge its way south. Blizzard conditions are now being reported from many areas in the Midwest. The high winds and heavy snowfall are expected to reach us here in the Cincinnati area during the next hour. Now, more local. <laughs>
quick Christmas pizza at Capone's before I drop you home. Jack, I don't think I could eat three pizzas. You said anything about three? Well, I got two of their offers. Oh, here we go again. The Delilah of the five and dime. Sorry, I tried to call, but the phones are down. Mary, you've got to come home right away. It said on TV there's going to be a big blizzard hitting Cincinnati in an hour. It's really bad. Did Mom and Joey get home? No, not yet. My Jeep's got four-wheel drive. I'll take you both home. Someone should tell Brian to close the store. That's like saying someone should tell King Kong to get out of the jungle. Anyway, here comes your big chance. Uh-uh, I'll come back for you as soon as he's gone, OK? Lisa, get down under the camera. I don't want him to see you here. Hi there, beautiful. I ain't been watching you uh, with the teddy bears. What do you think of running here, a charity bazaar? The merchandise was faulty. There was no refund. The customer took a punching bag in exchange and was quite satisfied. One thing I can say for you, Angela, is your personal merchandise is by no means faulty. But when I say push the teddy bears, I mean push the teddy bears. Clear? I'm not a salesperson, Mr. Barney. I'm customer service, and I was doing my job. Doing your job is pleasing me, which in your case would not be difficult, you know what I mean? No, I don't. You know, for a smart-looking girl, you're really pretty dumb. Don't you know it's better business to be nice to the boss than to some pretty stock boy with his fingers in the till? Don't you talk to Mary like that. What the heck is that? That is my sister, and she is absolutely right. Mr. Barney, I suggest that you keep your smutty thoughts to yourself and stop making cheap accusations about a nice guy like Jack Fenton. Oh, yeah, well, with your attitude, you could be out of here real quick, you know that? With your attitude, I could be out of here right now. There's a blizzard out there. It's Christmas Eve, and I'm going to take my baby sister home. Mary. I know, I know. You're not a baby. You're 11 years old. And if you had any conscience, which I know that you don't, you'd advise all your customers to get out of here while there's still time. Come on, Lisa. Let's Look. go find Jack. Oh, I feel like that. And ruin my biggest one-day ticket here. What are you, crazy? It's... Just like Barney. Fenton to the big guy. He's got it. Over the head, too. Come on, Jack, let's go. What happened? I just told King Kong what he could do with his jungle. All right. <laughs> Good for you, pal. Uh, careful. I don't think His Majesty was too happy. Bears, bears, bears. I'm sorry. Uh, excuse me, everybody. I just heard on TV there's going to be a major snowstorm hitting Cincinnati any minute. It's Christmas Eve. You should all go home. Give me that! Give me that, you midget monster! Nothing to worry about, folks. That was just a false alarm. Please, uh, come on now. Just, just a little snow. I mean, what do you expect? It's Christmas! Christmas time is snow time, and in no time it'll be Christmas again. Congratulations, Miss Piper, on winning the first annual Sister of the Year Award. Oh, Mary, a mountain master! They're the best, and so are you. <laughs> Put that back, you little creep. That's stolen property. It costs exactly half of the salary that you owe me, Mr. Barney. Well, you can sue me for the other half. Come on, Lisa. And you two. The two of you? You can sue me, too. That's just what we'll do. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> You really like the sled. I mean, you weren't just putting on an act back in the store, were you? No. This is going to 
going to be the best Christmas in the history of the world. Right here in Cincinnati. Welcome to glorious Cincinnati, queen of Ohio's Alpine Ski Resorts. I come from C-I-N-C-I-N-N-A-T-I, Cincinnati. The best town in Ohio, USA. At first they called it Cincy, but since Cincy is so nice. The girls are pretty, pretty in this pretty little city. The fellers are the feistiest I've seen. And when it comes to Baltics, the red and the Bengals Maltese. They knock the socks off Baltics on the green. I mean, truth are you indefensible. The facts are common sense of Baltics in C. I'm very sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, ow! Excuse me. Oh, uh, uh, here, let me help you up. I appreciate that. Thank oh. you. Are you hurt? Uh, no, I don't think so. Oh, that's good. I'm Georgie Porgy, a chief taster at the Toyland Cookie Factory. Mm -hmm. uh, here, have a, a raspberry ripple. It'll make you feel better. Oh, thank you. Oh, wait. <laughs> Oh, why are you in such a hurry? Oh, it's terrible. I'm going to a wedding. What's so terrible about going to a wedding? Excuse me, I thought they were supposed to be fun. Not this one. My best friend Jack's sweetheart, Mary, is about to marry that terrible, mean old yicko, Barnaby. But she really loves Jack. See the house on the hill? The bowling ball? That's Barnaby's house. All black three holes. He is so evil and so bizarre. Sometimes when he gets really angry, he rolls his house right down the street and knocks people over like they were nine pits. God, this guy sounds really weird. Why is Mary marrying this terrible old Barnaby instead of his friend? Because Barnaby bought the mortgage on her mother's house 
and said he'd throw them all out in the street if she didn't. Well, Mary's too loyal a daughter to let that happen. And what's even worse, Barnaby is Jack's uncle. Boy, for a town, it looks like so much fun. This is pretty strange stuff. Oh, I tell you. Being rotten is the only thing that makes Barnaby happy. And being this rotten, well, I've never seen him in such a good mood. Can't wait to meet him. <laughs> Get on your tuppet, Muppet. Start the happy wedding song. Because there's nowhere to elope to. It's just that Toyland is surrounded by the forest of the night, the scariest place anywhere. And even if there were somewhere to elope, Mary daren't because of what Barnaby might do to her. I mean, we're talking serious villain here. All right, they're coming. That's Barnaby, with his two goons, Zack and Mac. But Mary's so young and pretty. She can't possibly marry a hideous creature like that. I told you it was a terrible wedding. step forward. <laughs> Dear friends and neighbors, as justice of the peace of Toyland, it falls within my power to join this handsome couple. Well, anyway, uh, this couple in matrimony. Sadly, our beloved Toy Master cannot be with us. Who's the Toy Master? Oh, he's the most wonderful man in the whole world. Everybody loves him. But he did send the following message to the happy couple. If he's so wonderful, how can he let this wedding go on? I want uh, the two young people both to know that somehow or other, true love will always win through. Mary Contrary, do you take this man Barnaby to be your husband for better, for worse, through good times and bad, forever and ever, as long as you shall live? For bad times and worse, I do. Barnaby Barnacle, do you take Mary here to be your bride, to have and protect as long as you both shall live? I do, I do, I absolutely, yes, I do. In that case, I now pronounce you... But she doesn't love him! Who said that? I did! She loves Jack, and she really shouldn't be marrying you. Uh. Well, whoever you are, this is none of your business. Oh, 
Oh, Mary, you're really making a very big mistake. Lisa, you should come with me. And Mrs. Hubbard, you should be ashamed forcing your poor daughter to go live in a bowling ball mm. just to pay your mortgage. If you know what's good for you, you little troublemaker, you'll keep your lips zipped. This imposter is not a citizen of Toyland. This is an invader. Get rid of her! Who are you? I'm Lisa Piper, and I'm from Cincinnati. Cincy Watsky? You don't scare me, Mr. Barnacle. Let go of me. Well, whoever you are, you will regret the day you ever set foot in Toyland. Let's hear it for Lisa! Let's hear it for the girl of the hour! Let's hear it for the girl of the day! Folks who love freedom, we need them every day. Let's hear it for the girl of the week. Let's hear it till the rock is grown and free. Let's hear it for the girl of the month. No more than a month, the whole year. We're glad that you're really here, my dear. Here, here. friends are up to show me what i need to know so i can make certain everyone gets what they deserve that's the forest of the night stay away from there lisa because it's filled with nightmare creatures and scary monsters oh georgie that's just barnaby trying to put you on i should have become keeper of the cookie factory when my father died but Barnaby got a law passing. I had to be 21 and married. So by noon, next Wednesday, Jack has to be standing on the steps of Town Hall, married to someone, but I'm not saying any names, Mary Kitcher, in order to get the job. And if he's not? Then as my father's brother, Barnaby becomes keeper for life. Remind me, beloved Trollard, to extend a very special invitation to young Miss Lisa Cincy Watsky. <laughs> Come! We have business at the cookie factory. Thank you. 
pray. My beauties, the beginning of Barnaby's master plan that will take care of Jack, his plans, his marriage, and his friends. Yes, one week from today, and everything will be mine. <laughs> children she had to move into a pair of boats and we bought this one from her. Oh really? <laughs> I'm going to try and make an exception. I'm sorry, Mrs. Hubbard, but my mama always taught me to do the right thing. And that's what I did. <laughs> this is Wee Willie Winky. Hi. Peter Piper. Jack and Joe. Hi. Hello. Little Boy Blue. Jack Horner. <laughs> I forget who this one is, but you'll get to know all of them. Oh, now, Mary Contrary, I have something to say to you. Now, what is it? Yes, number 11. How dare you not marry that nice, rich Mr. Barnaby? And you know perfectly well why not, Mother. Because I don't love him. I love Jack. And I've got Lisa to thank for saving me from making a terrible mistake. I think that we've had this discussion before, but I'm not sure. Let me check. I know I had something else I wanted to add. Yes, number 16. Why don't you keep your business out of other people's noses? I think I wrote that down wrong, but you know what I mean. Mrs. Hubbard, I think the same as your toy master. When two young people love each other, they should be allowed to be together. Oh, I will not allow such radical thinking in my school. And a mature man of the world like Mr. Barnaby should be free to marry a more elegant, glamorous woman of the world such as yourself. She talks a lot of sense, that girl. Hmm? I mean, that's not a half bad idea. One thing is for sure, he's got to marry one of us or we're out in the street. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Hubbard. I'm sure we'll find one way or another for you to keep your house. Oh, I had an idea about that today, too. Yes, number 23. Sell the children. What? But not all of them. Just a couple of the little ones, no? No, Mama. Okay. Put that out. It's just an idea. Oh, wow. What nifty little cars. Can I try the pink one? Well, sure. Can you peek for some cut off? I'll try it and see. Yes, just. Ah, oh, well. That's the only requirement for a Toyland driver's license. There must be so many great 
great things to do in Toyland. My only problem would be having enough hours in the day. That's not a problem. It's always daylight here. Hi, Georgie. Wow. Oh, Nita. What a delicious smell. I'm starving. Well, that is the best way to come to the cookie factory. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say to a big kiss? Hello, big kiss. You again! Cincy Watsky, out the door! Or into the flour grinder, which shall it be? Uh... I think maybe out the door sounds better. Lisa's welcome here anytime she likes, whether you like it or not. Until next Wednesday, she may be. But after next Wednesday, it's over for all of you. We'll see about that next Wednesday. <laughs> Justice Grimm, you've arrived just in time, thank heaven. Mm. Arrest that man. Georgie Forgy? No, imbecile. The other one. Your nephew? Yes, him. What are you trying to pull now, Barnaby? You want me to arrest your own nephew? That's what I said. On what grounds? What is all this? Justice Grimm. I regret to have to report a major robbery. Mm -hmm. Six months' inventory is mm -hmm. missing, involving millions, many millions of cookies. It is a totally ruthless, unscrupulous act, completely devoid of all moral and social conscience. It's also a lie, an out-and-out -out lie! Justice Grimm, if you would be kind enough Yes, please. There. There. Thousands of boxes of cookies. God! Who is responsible for their safekeeping? I am, but... Then I'm afraid this doesn't look too good for you, young man. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's just the thought of all those poor little teddy bears going hungry. It's too much. I'm sorry. I have no alternative. Justice Grimm, you're making a big mistake. You're really locking up the wrong person. Just what exactly are the charges? Suspicion of grand cookie larceny. Get in. Thank you, Justice Grimm. This is a very painful moment for me, my own nephew, a criminal. I'll be down to file formal charges in about three minutes. Out. He's too afraid of Barnaby. I know. So we plan a jailbreak. I just know Jack Nimble's innocent, Your Honorship. He wouldn't steal a cookie from a baby, let alone a whole factory full. Well, I'm sorry. But that's the way the cookie factory crumbles. <laughs> Little joke. Justice Grimm. Hmm? Hmm? Has anybody ever told you about Cincinnati? No. Why should they? What are Cincinnati's anyway? Some kind of Italian cookie? I've never eaten any. No, you don't eat them. Cincinnati's a place. A very amazing, magical city. Hey, 
Georgie? I don't believe it. Neither do I. I'm not exactly cut out to be a hero. Oh, they could cut about three heroes out of you, old buddy. <laughs> Tell Lisa. Come on, let's go. And this guy, Pete Rose, hits the ball 4,192 times. And all the people stood up and cheered and made him the king of Cincinnati. I bet they did. That's amazing. That's absolutely amazing. Well, I really must be going now. But could I at least say goodbye to Jack? Of course, of course. I'm only sorry. This unpleasant incident. For the keys! He's gone? He's gone! What are you doing? I'm locked in. I'm sorry, sir, but that's the way the cookie kingdom crumbles. Ha ha, a little joke. Bye. A little joke. Let me out! Jack, we gotta stop Barnaby somehow. I just know he wants to take over all of Toyland. The Toy Master would never let that happen. He let Barnaby put Jack in jail. Yeah, but the Toy Master doesn't know about that. Well, don't you think it's time he did? Yes, the, the Toy, Toy Master. Master. It's that wretched, interfering, sincere Watsky brat again. I think it's time I invited her and her friends over to play with my little pets. <laughs> <laughs> Guys. Wow, he must be a pretty important person, the Toy Master. Well, let's put it this way. I don't think Santa Claus would let just anybody make all the toys for all the children in the world, do you? No. Toy Master, this is our new friend, Lisa. She comes here from a place called Cincy... 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 Cincinnati. I know about that. You must be quite proud of Pete Rose. Toy Master. Toy Master. We don't know what to do with the eyes. Oh, eyes? Well, um, here. I... Oh. <laughs> That's better. Now she can see and dance and smile. Huh, Lisa? What's in those cabinets over there? Something wonderful. Wonderful. Toy Master. <laughs> oh, you're right. They are wonderful. Yes, <laughs> they're my pride and joy. I bet sadly wooden soldiers aren't much in demand anymore. Children's tastes have changed. It's appalling. Toy Master, we've got to talk to you. Really, sir? For the sake of Toyland? Well, yes, I'm listening. Aha! Barnaby accused Jack of being a thief. Yes, stealing cookies from the cookie factory. And then Justice Grimm put Jack in jail. And then we just got him out. Zoom in, Trevor. Barnaby, he's always been a handful. Even as a child. Handful? He's Major League Rotten. I'm going to let you in on a little secret, children. Actually, a very big secret. A secret I've never shared with anyone before. What secret? <sighs> i 
neglecting the evil of the world. You have? Yes. I seek it out, and I isolate it. I extract it, and then I distill its essence, and I seal it in here. Boy, would Barnaby like to get his hands on that? Don't worry, Georgie Porgy, you great fat lump. Barnaby will. I knew that old wizard was up to something. And he's been doing it all for Barnaby. You can't collect all the evil in the world. There's no bottle big enough for that, of course. But there's room enough in this one for Barnaby's. And somehow we'll get it. Do you really think you can do that? Of course, my child. There's no doubt about it. It won't be easy. You simply have to believe that they are possible. Georgie, where'd you get that cookie? Uh, I found it on the floor of the cookie factory. There were just two left. I thought they might be evidence. Georgie, you're eating the evidence. Georgie's right. They are evidence. If you can show us exactly where you picked those cookies up, Georgie, I'll guarantee you there's another clue close by. And we're going to find it. Come on. Nice meeting you, Tourmaster. We'll let you know what happens. All right. Keep in touch, eh, children? OK. Now, what was I doing? Oh, yes, Christmas. my heart with joy its evil theme will never cease cause I have created a monster beast I've put in years of toil and strife to bring the old time evil dream to life You'll see my evil powers increase. They've all underrated my masterpiece. You see, Trolla, the dream is about to be fulfilled today, Torland, tomorrow. The world! 
I have this rendezvous with fate. So much more evil to create. So little love and so much hatred to release. We won't tell the police. The best is yet to be unfurled. The day my special evil rules the world. Horrendous spiky monsters curl around my feet. How sweet! I'll lie and kill and steal and cheat to make my evil life complete. I'll build a world with no more toys. Pure hell for little girls and boys. Those gap to grabby little geese. <laughs> I'm creating a masterpiece. All right, boys, give the others. You know what to do. What about the others, Barnaby? Oh, Jack. I always like to make plans for my friends. If you so much as lay one finger on Mary, I'll... Oh, no. You know me better than that. You know what I think? I think what you really want is to destroy Toyland. On the contrary. I plan to own it. And when I do, there'll be some very interesting changes. Oh, my dead butt! If necessary, yes. Everything Lisa warned us about you is true. Oh. I hope so. You run this rotten, evil forest, and you stole all those cookies to discredit me and feed things like that? Look into my sweet Trelloc's eye. In a few moments, Mary will start searching near the trapdoor. All I have to do is signal Zack and Mac to gag her, bring her down here. For an evil person, I'm really very well organized, don't you think? Barnaby. Where's my darling Mary? Oh, I'm afraid she's not at home. She'll be so sorry to have missed you. I brought these lovely flowers for her. <gasps> oh, they're beautiful. I'll be sure to tell her. She's going to be really thrilled. I don't know what it is about you, Mr. Barnaby, but you sure know how to charm the ladies. I do. Well, yes, of course I do. Not only have you got Mary thinking twice, but you've got her mother, Mrs. Hubbard, all jealous about it. You sure are a devil with the ladies, Mr. Barnaby. Bye. Anybody interested? For you. For me? Yes. Well, they're lovely. Who sent them? Mr. Barnaby Barnacle. He admires you very much, but he just doesn't know how to tell you. That dear, sweet, shy, foolish boy, he can tell me anytime he wants. Pick up my thing. Thank you. He's come back for me! No, it's only fatty. The answer is no. Wherever Jack is, he's not in Toyland. I've looked everywhere. He's just not here. 
Uh, he has to be. He wouldn't just leave Mary. Well, he's gone, Lisa, believe me. I know every foot of Toyland, and he's just not here. There's one place we haven't looked. Where? The bowling ball. I I've got a hunch about it. Let's go. <laughs> This is crazy. Nobody's ever been inside Barnaby's house before. It could be very dangerous. Don't whip out now, Georgie. I'll go. I'm not scared. I'm not a child. No, I'll search it. You two stand guard. But wait a minute. Something I'm could... I'm sorry, Lisa, but it's time I did something besides cry. Never see you again. Oh, Jack, hold me, just hold. Enjoy yourselves, my dears. This is the last time you'll ever touch one another. Where are we? What is this terrible place? Well, it may not be everybody's taste, but we call it home. Don't we, sweet Trolla? Master, for once, I think there's something more important than a new toy. Jack and Mary have both disappeared, and the way things are looking, we could all end up disappearing. Oh, my poor Lisa, I can see that you're very upset. Yes, I am very, and this is no time for anybody to be playing with toys. Not even you. We'll just have to manage, eh? Toy Master, I don't think you really realize what's going on in Toyland. The whole place is in great danger. And you must do something right away. You really must. What exactly did you have in mind? Well... For instance, don't you have the power to turn Barnaby into a, a wind-up pussycat or something? I mean, I don't think you realize how evil he is. Oh, but what if there's still some good inside of him? There's no good in Barnaby, sir. Lisa, I'm afraid that's not precisely true. The struggle between good and evil goes on inside of everyone. Not in me, old man! Zack, Matt! Lisa! Get out! Oh, run! Get out of here! Get out. No, be careful! <laughs> Leave me alone! Come on, get back here! Please! Oh. Please! Toy master, lovable Leave little toy master! Don't you hurt the toy master! Don't hurt the toy master! <laughs> This is a great moment. For you, maybe. Beautiful flask of evil. You don't need any more evil, Barnaby. You've got enough of your own. Uh, uh, Barnaby Barnacle, don't you dare touch a hair on that child. I'm not a child. <laughs> You're wrong, my interfering little Cincy Watsky. I will use every ounce of evil the Toy Master has so kindly been collecting for me. Every. Barnaby, what is it exactly that you want? Did Santa Claus bring you enough toys last Christmas? I don't want toys, you old imbecile. I want Toyland. 
Barnaby. You are a taker in the land of Giri. Don't you realize you can never conquer Toyland? Never. <laughs> we will see about that, old man. They're all yours, Trollog. Enjoy your little treat. <laughs> 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 eventually always falls to the young, even here in Toyland. This is how we protect our traditions. In that case, we'll get that flask back for you. No matter what we have to do, we'll get it back. Ah, Georgie, you are a very brave fellow. We're OK. I'd watch my manners if I were you, Cincy Watsky. Now that I have this and my loyal legion of lovely pets waiting. He's got trolls, hundreds of ugly trolls who eat all the cookies. Yes. And just one small dose of these precious evil vapors and they will be unconquerable. I will be master of Toyland. You're the monster of Toyland, Barnaby. How could you ever wish evil on the most wonderful place that ever existed? You're insane. Well, yes. Now, I want you all to try it. You'll like it. And it was you, Cincy Watsky, who cost me my beloved Trollog. So I've decided to turn you into him. Look, Uncle Barnaby, if you want the factory, take it. Just don't harm my friends. Oh, Jack, just a few whiffs of this, and you will all become Barnaby servants. You will all become creatures of evil. <laughs> you be my guest. Don't breathe it. Just don't breathe it. Well, what are we supposed to breathe, Jack? 
I thought you loved Mary. I love her even more. As my troll princess. <laughs> you will be my favorites. My new favorites. <laughs> and now I'll go get my other little pets so you all can meet each other. <laughs> Don't give in to it. Fight it. Mary, don't give in to it. Fight it. You mustn't. Jack! Georgie! Don't breathe it! Just don't breathe it! Just fight it! You must! You too, Lisa! Nothing's happening to me. I guess I'm immune because I've read Cincinnati. Yes, Cincinnati! Say you could always be. It'll help keep your mind straight. I Cincinnati, the best town you know, H I O Ohio, USA. Uh -huh. Come on, Toy Master Sun, there's good and evil, all of us. Hold on to the good inside of you. They named it Cincinnati, so they say. Hey, the girls are pretty, pretty in this pretty little city. The fellas are the fighting, fighting. Ready? 
yourself. Ready? Whoa! Now the Toy Master's our only hope. That's what I'm afraid of. He's a man of peace and this is war, Mary. This could be the end of Toy Land. Oh, 
Take control of everything. Toy Master, don't just stand there. You've got to do something. I'm afraid there's nothing I can do. There's got to be something. I have only toys here. Toys cannot protect us from anything. As long as there is one person within these walls who can't believe in them. Who doesn't believe in toys? There is one person who was never really a child. Life made her grow up too fast. It must be you, Lisa. Me? You're always saying I'm not a child. And I guess maybe you never have been. I think that he's right, Lisa. Lisa, listen to me. I'm not the one who can save Toyland. You are. Only you. But what do I have to do? Believe in Toyland and all that it stands for. If you can see through the eyes of a child the wonderful world that children see, believe you me, you will never grow old. You will always be free to be beguiled. You can think with the mind of a child, believe and be lost in fantasy. Believe you me, that's more precious than gold. You will always hold in your childlike mind. Precious dreams other folks don't find. If you like me can think and see through the wandering, wandering eyes and mind of a child. Do you want to believe, Lisa? Yes, I do. More than anything. I guess life just made me grow up too fast. Although I do still have my teddy. I kept teddy. Did you hear that, everybody? She kept her teddy. Yes, I kept my teddy, and I miss him. Then you do still remember how important toys can be, Lisa. Say that you really remember, Lisa. Remember, Lisa. Say, Say you that you truly remember. remember. Yes, I do remember. Toyland has made me remember. I always wanted to be a kid. I always wanted to play with toys. I believe in all of you. And I am still just a kid. I really am. The monsters are coming! The monsters are coming!
You! So pretty, so nice. Now you've come with me and be my troller! Yeah! yeah! <laughs> Not quite yet, Uncle Barnaby. <laughs> Jack not be nimble, Jack be dead. He's the one to blame for this horrible mess. No one else. I'm still gonna get you. Since he wants me, Brad, I'm gonna get you. Barnaby Barnacle, you still haven't learned, have you? For your evil against Toyland, you are hereby banished to the forest of the night forever. Can't do that to me. You can't. I don't control them anymore. Officer. Hold! Toy soldiers! You brainless idiot! Stop! Toyland is finally free of evil. You've done it, Lisa. Me? Yes. You remember the eternal dream of childhood? You believe you set the toy soldiers free. Yeah. Contrary, Hubbard. Take this man, Jack Nimble Jr., to be your husband, to love and cherish and give him a lot of fun and love with your whole heart till the end of time. I do. And you, Jack Nimble Jr., do you take the breathtaking Mary to be your beautiful, loving wife from this moment on, to love and be unbelievably kind to? to share the joys of Toyland and all your hopes and dreams with forever and a day. It's not long enough, but I do.
Then, by virtue of the almost unlimited power vested in me by the Toy Master, I now pronounce you man and wife. visit your planet, Cincinnati, hmm? I'll be waiting. Lisa, what am I gonna do without you? How can we ever thank you? Dear, I hate goodbyes. Toyland, I'll miss you. I'll miss you all. Hurry, Lisa. You must leave immediately. You know, I never really did like that Barnaby. Would you like to? Come by my shoe for dinner sometime. I'd be delighted. But I haven't said goodbye to the Toy Master. <laughs> well, we should have a nice trip, Lisa, if you don't mind a few bumps. Toy Master! Stop acting like a mother. He's upstairs sleeping. Warm and toasty in his little bed. We're just so happy that you're all right. Oh, Mary, Jack and George, you're all here. I'm so happy to see everybody again. I was in this town filled with talking toys and, and Mother Goose people. And horrible monsters tried to eat me alive. Well. Of course they did, honey. 
Oh, that reminds me. I must call the pest control people. I bet Barney from the store was the worst monster of the lot. <laughs> oh, yes, he was. He was. <laughs> oh, Mom, the tree is so beautiful. As beautiful as all the things the Toy Master taught me. Oh, he must be a very wise man. He was. He taught me that it was in our hearts that we must stay young and try to be good. And above all, we must believe. And then we'll always have a Merry Christmas and everything, won't we? Always and always and always. <laughs>